So this 45 is going to have two components 45 cos and 45 sine. Similarly, 18 cos 10, 18 sine 10. We should zoom into this. And now let us analyze TAC sine 36.87 and 18 cos 10. Let me bring them over here along with their proper signs. Sir, this is to the left negative this is to the right positive this is to the right positive let me put their signs and equate it to zero if you want to understand the idea of concurrent coplanar forces this example demonstrates it perfectly we'll also apply a bit of trigonometry uh, the skills of resolving the forces into cos and sine components we'll also be working out how to calculate the resultant all of this and much more coming up in today's session so good evening students this is manas patnaik your friend and tutor let's read the description and then I'll explain you this entire arrangement and uh, you need to stay with me right till the end. It is going to take somewhere around 5 to 10 minutes, not more. Okay, this is fun. Here we go. For the arrangement of pole and cable, as shown below, find the tension in cable AC. If the resultant of the three forces at A is vertical. Alright. Let me explain you this arrangement. Here, we have got a pole. And this is the cable which is giving the pole some kind of support if you watch carefully there are two forces acting at this end a of the pole one is 45 while the other is 18 newtons you can clearly see that 45 newton is almost more than double of 18 newtons okay therefore the pole may have a tendency to fall down isn't it to ensure that it does not fall down along this direction we have attached a cable at the end a and the other end of the cable has been fixed to the ground okay that cable has been stretched firmly so that tension will develop inside it and it is this tension along the cable that is cable ac that we will work out together not to worry okay the first thing to do is to calculate this angle alpha so if you watch carefully there is this right angle triangle we can see whenever you come across a right angle triangle remember you can use trigonometry the side in front of it is the perpendicular and this one over here is the base that's the hypotenuse sir what we can do is sir we can apply it tan alpha is equal to perpendicular which is 30 divided by base which is 22.5 so tan alpha is equal to 30 over 22.5 Take the inverse, alpha will work out as 53.13. Agreed? Okay, sir. Let me update 53.13. Secondly, if you watch this force, this force over here, force along the cable, that is tension along the cable, we have written it as TAC. And you can see this 18, I have lined it up along this force. This 45 also has been lined up with this force over here. Okay. <laughs> anyway. So, uh, this 18 newton force is making an angle of 10 degrees so this 45 newton force is making an angle of 25 degrees we don't know what angle this tac tension makes either with the vertical or with the horizontal any one angle has to be worked out initially again this angle is 90 degrees if this is 90 degrees sir then the sum of remaining two angles that is 53.13 and let's say this is x the sum of the remaining two angles x plus 53.13 should be equal to 90 degrees isn't it and from this you can calculate the value of x this is precisely 36.87 if i am not wrong okay let me update 36.87 here it is agreed now you have the force you have the angle i mean you don't have the magnitude of the force this is something that you need to work out and be done easily now it is my duty to resolve the forces into components please remember if you've got a force f it can be resolved into components like this better to use a different color yellow one will do the job it is going to have sir two components one this way let me write force over here sir if this is theta then the component in front will be the sine component this is going to be f sine theta and this one obviously the remaining one is cos theta you can do one more thing sir you can frame the components in this fashion also let me say that this is f okay we can frame the components this way also again if you watch this f how much is this angle sir this is also theta so let me write this as theta then this over here is going to be the component in front okay so the component in front will always be written 
as the sine component f sine theta and this is going to be f cos theta so whichever way you do it it will stay same let me zoom into it okay component in front is f sine theta component in front is f sine theta remember the one which is left obviously is the cos component i think you all have a fair idea now done so this 45 is going to have two components 45 cos and 45 sine the component in front of 25 degrees is the sine component let me zoom in the component in front of this 25 degrees is the sine component and the one left is the cos component similarly 18 cos 10 18 sine 10 similarly watch 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 this was simple tac watch sir this angle is 36.87 now the angle made is with the vertical so the component in front of the angle in front of the angle you'll always see a sine component that is tac sine 36.87 and this one obviously has to be the cos component agreed yes sir i think the space has become crowded we should zoom into this and now let us analyze please read what has been given in the problem find the tension in the cable ac if the resultant of the three forces at a is vertical the resultant is vertical wonderful what does that mean sir if the resultant is vertical that means uh, by now we know this formula resultant is nothing but a under root of summation of fx square plus fy square so all the forces in x direction all the forces in y direction but here we can clearly read that the resultant of the forces is vertical that means whatever the resultant is it is equal to all the forces along the y direction which essentially means that f of x or summation of all the forces along the x direction positive or negative they are going to work out as zero so in place of this f of x we can substitute it by zero okay as per the problems description the resultant of the three forces at a is going to be equal to zero that's why f of x has been equated to zero if that is so the square and the square root will cancel so r is equal to summation of fy now what we'll do is all the forces along the y direction positive negative you have to take into account sir 45 sine 25 TAC cos 36.87 and 18 sin 10. Let me bring them into this equation. Okay. Sir, all the three forces are in the downward direction. Therefore, a negative sign, negative sign, negative sign. Let me put a negative sign before them. Done. So, on solving this, you are going to get the resultant. But again, there is a problem. What? You don't have the value of TAC as of now. What are you going to do? Sir, uh, we have to calculate TAC then. Okay. And that is what has been asked in the question now being a teacher it becomes my responsibility to get you all the unknowns so i'll get you the value of resultant also don't worry so uh, just a few moments back you told us for the resultant to be vertical in nature for the resultant of all the three forces to be vertical this f of x had to be zero so we can use this equation what we can equate that f of x is equal to zero if you watch along this x direction we've got three forces 45 cos 25 tac sine 36.87 and 18 cos 10 let me bring them over here along with their proper signs sir this is to the left negative this is to the right positive this is to the right positive let me put their signs and equate it to zero one equation one unknown pretty easy to solve tac will work out as 38.43 agreed yes sir <laughs> now we already had one more equation for resultant let me bring that back here TAC's value will be substituted. How much is that? Sir, it is 38.43. So let me plug in 38.43 over here. Solve. Very, very simple. The answer has to be negative. R will be minus 52.89. Again, we were instructed very clearly that the resultant of all the forces at A is vertical. So that could be, if it is vertical, it could either be positive vertical or negative vertical what is our answer sir answer is negative that means it is vertical but in the downward direction the resultant is in the downward direction and you can sense that okay all the forces are along the third and the fourth quadrant so the resultant will be downward right so let me write down the final answer the resultant is minus 52.89 whereas the tension along cable is 38.43 that is your final answer so before I end the video, let me tell you something about the courses which are running right now on my application. One happens to be engineering mechanics. Complete lectures are available. 
chapter wise content is there if you belong to any university across india you will find your syllabus over here you can match your syllabus some of the videos have been uh, kept unlocked you can watch them and then make your mind okay the lectures are available both in hindi and english so there is going to be no communication problems there are notes in the pdf format so that is also going to help you immensely if you come across any doubts in mechanics with the help of the chat box you can send those questions to me i can uh, even conduct a session in gmeet so that your doubts will be clarified okay you will be benefited secondly one more course running on my application is the very popular one engineering drawing students in fact not just in india across the globe enroll in this course okay very very uh, enthusiastically in fact so everything is there again the lectures are available both in hindi and english the notes are there uh, then there are mcq type problems are also there you can attempt those mcqs because in some of the universities i've seen that uh, they ask multiple choice questions in engineering drawing goes or some of it some part of it right so this is going to be this can rather prove to be very very beneficial so if your exam is say let's say uh, two months away or three months away then this is the right time and if you've just begun your semester this is the right time in fact the best time to enroll in this course and have an advantage to be very very honest so yes students that was all from my side for today if you have got any doubts or queries to write them down in the comment section below i will be very very happy to answer them okay if you find this content helpful do like it and share with it with as many friends as you can and also subscribe to this channel and press the bell icon so that you stay updated whenever i upload any new content thank you very very much